Welcome to this Max Tuition. Today I am going to explain product rule. <coughs> what do you mean by product rule? If u and v are any two functions of x, if u and v are any two functions of x, any two functions of x, then d by dx of uv equal to u into dv by dx plus v into du by dx. If u and v are any two functions of x, then d by dx of uv equal to u into dv by dx, u into dv by dx plus v into du by dx. That is first function into derivative of second plus second function into derivative of first. Okay. For example, suppose let uh, y equal to x plus 2 into 2x plus 3. Here this u and v are two functions. Then dy by dx is equal to first function x plus 2 into derivative of second 2x plus 3 plus second function 2x plus 3 into derivative of first function x plus 2. Okay. That is x plus 2 into derivative of 2x plus 3, 2 into 1, derivative of x1 and derivative of 3 constant 0 plus 2x plus 3 into derivative of x1, derivative of 2 constant 0. Then 2 into x, 2x, 2 into 2, 4. Again 1 into 2x, 2x, 1 into 3, 3. Therefore the final result is 4x plus 7. That is the answer of x plus 2 and derivative of x plus 2 and 2x plus 3. Okay. Ready? <coughs> yes. Again, you will please read the next question. y equal to y equal to 2x minus 7 2x minus 7 into into 5 minus 2x 5 minus 2x. But also we have to apply product rule. First d by d y by d x equal to first function 2x minus 7 into derivative of 5 minus 2x second function. Okay. Plus second function 5 minus 2x into derivative of first d by dx of 2x minus 7. That is 2x minus 7 into derivative of 5. It is a constant that derivative is 0. Minus 2 into derivative of x1 minus 2 into 1. Plus 5 minus 2x into derivative of 2x. 2 into derivative of x1, derivative of 7 constant 0. Multiplying this, minus 4x plus 14 and again 10 minus 4x. Okay, 2 into 5, 10, 2 into 2x, 4x. Then minus 4x minus 4x minus 8x. 14 plus 10 equal to 24. That is its answer. Okay. Yes, please read next question. <coughs> okay, the next question, y equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 into 5 minus 6x squared. Okay, here also we have to apply product rule. dy by dx equal to first function, first function 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 into derivative of second d by dx of 5 minus 6x squared. Okay, plus second function 5 minus 6x squared into derivative of first d by dx of 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. Okay, 3x squared. That is 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 into derivative of 5, 0, minus 6 into derivative of x squared, 2x. And again, plus 5 minus 6x squared into derivative of 3x squared, 3 into 2x, minus 4 into derivative of x1, derivative of 1 is a constant, that derivative equals 0. That is 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 into minus 12x, okay, plus 5 minus 6x squared into 3 into 2x, 6x minus 4, open this bracket, that is minus 36x cubed plus 48x squared minus 12x, and again, 5 into 6x, 30x, 5 into 4, 20, minus 36x cubed plus 24x squared, okay, Simplifying this term, minus 36 x cube minus 36 x cube minus 72 x cube. 48 x square and 24 x square, 52 plus 20, 72 x square. 
minus 12x plus 30x plus 18x minus 20. That is its answer. Okay. Ready? Okay, pass the next point. Caution rule. Caution rule. <coughs> Caution rule. Next section. Caution rule. If U and V are, if U and V are any two functions of X, any two functions of X, if U and V are any two functions of X, then D by DX of, D by DX of U by V equal to V into DU by DX minus U into DV by DX divided by V square. If Q and V are any two functions of X, then D by DX of U by V equal to V into DU by DX minus U into DV by DX divided by V square. That is denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator by denominator square. For example, Y equal to X by 2X plus 1. Then, dy by dx is equal to dy by dx equal to first function sorry denominator into 2x plus 1 into derivative of numerator x minus numerator x into derivative of denominator 2x plus 1 divided by denominator square 2x plus 1 the whole square okay that is 2x plus 1 into derivative of x 1 minus x into derivative of 2x plus 1 2 into derivative of x1 and 1 is a constant that derivative equal to 0 divided by denominator square 2x plus 1 whole square open this bracket 2x plus 1 into 1 2x plus 1 minus 2x divided by 2x plus 1 whole square okay we can cancel this 2x so final answer equal to 1 by 2x plus 1 whole square if u and we are any two functions of x then d by dx of u by v equal to v into du by dx minus u into dv by dx by v square. Denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator by denominator square. Okay. Yes. Please read the next question. Second question. Y equal to x by x by 8x plus 3. 8x plus 3. Also, here also quotient of two function, we have double quotient rule. That is dy by dx equal to denominator 8x plus 3 into derivative of numerator d by dx of x minus x into d by dx of 8x plus 3 divided by 8x plus 3 the whole square. Okay, that is 8x plus 3 into derivative of x 1 minus x into Derivative of 8x plus 3, 8 divided by 8x plus 3, the whole square. Open this bracket, 8x plus 3 minus 8x divided by 8x plus 3, the whole square. So the final result is 3 divided by 8x plus 3, the whole square. Okay. Yes. Can you give the next question? Y equal to? Y equal to. Third question. Y equal to? 6x squared by 6x squared by 3 minus 2x 3 minus 2x Okay, here also we have a quotient of two function apply quotient rule dy by dx equal to denominator 3 minus 2x into derivative of numerator b by dx of 6x squared minus 6x squared into d by dx of 3 minus 2x whole divided by denominator square 3 minus 2x the whole square Okay, that is dy by dx equal to 3 minus 2x into derivative of 6x square 6 into 2x minus 6x square into derivative of 3 minus 2x 0 minus 2 into 1 divided by 3 minus 2x or square. Okay, open this bracket 12x into 3 36x 12x into 2 24x square. Okay, 6, uh, 6 x square into minus 2 plus 12 x square divided by 3 minus 2 x all square. Ready? Simplify the term. 36 x, 36 x minus 
24 x square plus 12 x square minus 12 x square divided by 3 minus 2 x the whole square. Okay, that is this answer. Now, um, dy equal to 6x square minus, minus by 3 minus 2x. Then dy dx equal to 36x minus 12x square by 3 minus 2x or square. Okay, third portion over. Yes. Next portion, derivative of power of that function. Here we have to remember one formula. dy by dx is equal to dy by du into du by dx dy by dx is equal to dy by du into du by dx. For example, see, differentiate, differentiate y equal to 3 minus 2x the whole raised to 5. Here we have to differentiate 3 minus 2x and also we have to differentiate this power term. Okay, so first of all we have to consider y equal to u raised to 5 where u equal to 3 minus 2x y equal to u raised to 5 where u equal to 3 minus 2 x. Here the variable is u. So differentiate the function with respect to u. Differentiate with respect to u. With respect to u. Then dy by du equal to dy by du equal to derivative of u raised to 5 that is equal to 5 u raised to 4. Okay. Here the variable is x. So differentiate the function with respect to x. Differentiate with respect to x. Then du by dx is equal to the derivative of 3, 0, derivative of minus 2x, minus 2 into minus 2 into derivative of x, 1, 0 minus 2 into 1 equal to minus 2. So, the derivative of this term, dy by dx is equal to dy by du into du by dx. Okay, so dy by dx is equal to dy by du into du by dx. This cancel then this becomes as dy by dx dy by du equal to 5 u raised to 4 du by dx equal to minus 2 5 into minus 2 minus 10 u raised to 4 actually u is equal to 3 minus 2x so the final result is minus 10 into 3 minus 2x the whole raised to 4 that is its answer so first of all we have to consider this as u this term you have to consider as a u then u raised to 5 where u equal to 3 minus 2x then you have to differentiate this function with respect to you. Differentiate this function with respect to you. Then you get pi u raised to 4. Here the variable is x. So differentiate this function with respect to x. Then du by dx equal to minus 2. Then comparing. Then that value put in this situation. dy by du into du by dx equal to minus 10 u raised to 4 or minus 10 into 3 minus 2 or raised to 4. See, <coughs> this is the, this method is very tedious when you give the largest problems. So you have to adopt another method that is I am going to explain here or y equal to 3 minus 2x the whole raised to 5. Okay. See, <coughs> differentiate this function with respect to x. Differentiate with respect to x. Then dy by dx is equal to dy by dx is equal to. You have to consider this function 3 minus 2x as x. Consider 3 minus 2x as x. Then x raised to 5. The derivative of x raised to 5 is 5 x raised to 4. The derivative of x raised to 5 is 5 x raised to 4. Actually x means 3 minus 2 x. 3 minus 2 x all raised to 4. Derivative of 3 minus 2 x. That is this is equal to x. x raised to 5. 5 x raised to 4. 5 into 3 minus 2 x all raised to 4. After that differentiate you have to differentiate this term. d by dx of 3 minus 2 x d by dx of 3 minus 2x that is 5 into 3 minus 2x the whole raised to 4 into derivative of 3 0 derivative of 2x 1 that is 5 into minus 2 minus 10 3 minus 2x the whole raised to 4 see the both answers are same so you have to apply this method first of all you have to consider this as x capital x omens answer as x x raised to 5 that means 5x raised to 4 5, 3 minus 2x all raised to 4. Actually x means 3 minus 2x. 5 into 3 minus 2x all raised to 4. After that differentiate this function. Derivative of 3 is 0. Derivative of minus 2, minus 2. If that is the result equal to minus 10 into 3 minus 2x all raised to 4. Okay. Mm. Okay. Differentiate y equal to 5 minus 6x all raised to 7. 
can also differentiate this is the function power of a function then differentiate the function with respect to x differentiate with respect to x then dy by dx equal to here also you have to consider this as an x the derivative of x raised to 7 7 x raised to 6 7 x raised to 6 7 into x means 5 minus 6 x all raised to 6 ok and differentiate 5 minus 6 x d by dx of 5 minus 6 x this is equal to x x raised to 7 7 x raised to 6 and differentiate this term 5 minus 6 x that is 7 into 5 minus 6 x all raised to 6 into derivative of 5 0 minus 6 into 1 that is 7 into 5 minus 6x all raised to 6 into minus 6 that is minus 42 into 5 minus 6x all raised to 6 that is 6 times. Okay. Next question. Next question. Y equal to? Y equal to hmm. 6 minus 6 minus 3x square 3x square the whole raised to 4. All raised to 4. Okay. This also power of a function. Differentiate the function with respect to x. Then dy by dx equal to consider 6 minus 3x as x 3 square as x. The derivative of x raised to 4. 4 x cube. 4 x cube. That is 4 into 6 minus 3 x square the whole cube. Then differentiate that term. That is 6 minus 3 x square. Okay. Here you have to consider this as x. x raised to 4 equal to 4 x cube. 4 into 6 minus 3 x square all cube. Then after that differentiate 6 minus 3 x square. That is 4 into 6 minus 3 x square, the whole raised to 3 into derivative of 6 0, 3 into derivative of x square 2x. That is 4 into 6 minus 3 x square, the whole cube into minus 6x. Okay. That is minus 24 x into 6 minus 3 x square, the whole cube. Any Next question, differentiate y equal to root of x square plus 1. See, we know that d by dx of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x. d by dx of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x. Then, if y equal to root of x square plus 1, differentiate that function with respect to x, then d by dx is equal to, this comes as x, root x, 1 by 2 root x, 1 by 2 root of x square plus 1. After that differentiate this x square plus 1. d by dx of x square plus 1. Okay. This is equal to x. Root x equal to 1 by 2 root x. Then differentiate this function. Root d by dx of x square plus 1. That is 1 by 2 root of x square plus 1 into d by dx of x square plus 1 equal to 2x. 1 is a constant that the value equal 0. We can cancel this to The final result is x divided by root of x square plus 1. Okay. Next question. Y equal to. Y equal to. Six into. Six into. Cube root of. Cube root of. X square. Yes. Y equal to six into cube root of x square. That is, we can write this as us. y equal to six into cube root means one by three. That is, x raised to two or raised to one by three. Okay. That means six x raised to two by three. Differentiate the function dy by dx is equal to apply the formula x raised to n n into x raised to n minus 1 that is 2 by 3 into x raised to 2 by 3 minus 1 ok that is 12 by 3 into x raised to minus 1 by 3 we can cancel this term 12 by 3 4 into x raised to minus 1 by 3 or you can write, write like this way 4 by x raised to 1 by 3 or you can write 4 into cube root of x ok that is x raised to minus 1 by 3 means 4 by x raised to 1 by 3. Or you can write 4 into the cube root of x. Okay. Ready. Y equal to 1 by 1 by 1 minus 4x. 1 minus 4x. The whole raised to 5. Whole raised to 5. Okay. That is y is equal to 1 minus 4x whole raised to minus 5. Then differentiate the function with respect to x. Then dy by dx is equal to x raised to n. This is equal to x. x raised to n. n x raised to n minus 1. Minus 5 into 1 minus 4x. All raised to minus 5 minus 1. After that differentiate d by dx of 1 minus 4x. Okay. That is 
this is x raised to n, 10 x raised to n minus 1, that is 1 minus 5, minus 5 into 1 minus 4x, all raised to minus 5 minus 1. After that differentiate this term, 1 minus 4x, that is minus 5 into 1 minus 4x, all raised to minus 6 into derivative of 1, 0, derivative of minus 4x minus 4 into derivative of x equal to 1. So the final answer is minus 4 into minus 5 plus 20 into 1 minus 4x all raised to minus 6. Or you can write dy by dx is equal to 20 divided by 1 minus 4x the whole raised to 6. That is its final answer. Okay. Ready. Okay. <coughs> Differentiation of implicit function. Implicit function. Implicit function means function containing both variable x and y. For example, y square equal to 4x. It is an example for an implicit function because function containing both variable x and y. Next question. X is xy equal to c square. It is also an implicit function. x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. This is also an example for an implicit function. Then what do you do? Here we have to differentiate the function with respect to x and find the value of dy by dx. For example, y square equal to 4x. Then differentiate this function with respect to x. Differentiate the function with respect to x. Differentiate the function with respect to x. The derivative of y square that is 2y. Here differentiate with respect to x, both are different, so we can write this is equal to 2y into dy by dx. y square means 2y into dy by dx equal to 4y into derivative of x1. Then dy by dx is equal to 4a divided by 2y or you can write 2a by y. That is this answer. If y square equal to 4x, differentiate the function with respect to x. The derivative of y square equal to 2y into dy by dx equal to 4a into derivative of x equal to 1. Then dy by dx equal to 4a by 2y equal to 2a by y. Okay. See, next example. xy equal to c star. Differentiate this function with respect to x. Differentiate the function with respect to x. Then x into derivative of y 1 into dy by dx. Here we have to apply product rule. First function into derivative of second. Y derivative of y1 with this different variable. So we have to write dy by dx. Plus second function y into d by dx of x1 equal to c square is a constant that derivative equals 0. Then x into dy by dx is equal to minus y. Okay. So dy by dx is equal to minus y by x. That is its size. Okay. Yes. Next question, x raised to 2 by 3 plus y raised to 2 by 3 is equal to a raised to 2 by 3. x raised to 2 by 3 plus y raised to 2 by 3 is equal to a raised to 2 by 3. Differentiate the function with respect to x. The derivative of x raised to 2 by 3, that is 2 by 3 into x raised to 2 by 3 minus 1. Plus, derivative of y raised to 2 by 3, 2 by 3 into y raised to 2 by 3 minus 1 into dy by dx. I raised to 1, 2 by 3 is a constant that will be equal to 0. That is 2 by 3 into x raised to 2 by 3 minus 1 minus 1 by 3. 2 by 3 into y raised to 2 by 3 minus 1 minus 1 by 3 into dy by dx is equal to 0. And then take this term on right side. That is 2 by 3 into y raised to minus 1 by 3 into dy by dx is equal to minus 2 by 3 into x raised to minus 1 by 3. We can cancel this 2 by 3. Then y raised to minus 1 by 3 into dy by dx is equal to minus x raised to minus 1 by 3. Therefore, dy by dx equal to minus x raised to minus 1 by 3 by y raised to minus 1 by 3. Okay. Take the terms in numerator and denominator. The final result is y raised to 1 by 3 divided by x raised to 1 by 3. Okay. Ready? Yes, please read the next question. Next question. Y square plus 2x square equal to 5. Y square plus 2x square equal to 5. Differentiate the function with respect to x. 
the derivative of y square so y into dy by dx plus 2 into derivative of x square 2x equal to derivative of y zero that is 2y into dy by dx equal to minus 4x then dy by dx is equal to minus 4x divided by 2y equal to minus 2x divided by y okay yes next is question number 5 x square equal to x minus y by x plus y differentiate the function with respect to x here we have to apply quotient rule this derivative of x square 2x equal to apply quotient rule denominator into derivative of numerator d by dx of x minus y minus numerator into derivative of denominator d by dx of x plus y divided by denominator square x plus y the whole square Okay, that is 2x is equal to x plus y into derivative of x 1 derivative of y 1 into dy by dx minus x minus y into derivative of x 1 derivative of y 1 plus dy by dx divided by x plus y the whole square. Okay, cross multiplying the term 2x into x plus y the whole square equal to open this bracket x plus y into 1 x plus y minus x plus y into dy by dx and again minus x minus y into 1 and again minus of x minus y into dy by dx okay that is 2x into 2x into 2x into x plus y the whole square e equal to then x plus y minus x minus y x minus x will cancel plus y plus y 2y that is x plus y minus x plus y okay and again plus or sorry we can write minus of dy by dx out of x plus y and plus x minus y okay minus take minus as a common term minus dy by dx out of x plus y plus x minus y then we can cancel this x and also we can cancel y that is 2x into x plus y the whole square equal to 2y minus dy by dx into 2x that is 2x into dy by dx ready then take on this side and this to this side so the final result is final result is 2, 2y minus 2x into x plus y the whole square equal to 2x into dy by dx 2x into dy dx. Therefore, we can take 2 as a common term. So, the final result becomes as we can take 2 as a common term. Then, final result becomes as dy by, dy by dx is equal to dy by dx equal to y minus x into x plus y the whole square divided by x. Okay, can take 2 as a common term and cancel on both sides. Then, y minus x into x plus y the whole square divided by x equal to d by d is that this answer okay okay you see <coughs> next problem 3y raised to 4 plus xy square plus 2x cube minus 6 equals 0 this is also an implicit function then differentiate this function with respect to x with respect to x 3 into the derivative of y raised to 4 for y cube into dy by dx plus here we have to apply product to x into the derivative of y square 2y into dy by dx first two function into derivative second plus second function y square into derivative of x 1 first two function into derivative of second plus second function into derivative first plus 2 into derivative of x cube 3x square minus derivative of 6 0 equal to 0 okay then take the term 12y cube into dy by dx plus 2xy into dy by dx next plus y square plus 6x square equal to 0 okay then take on this type that is dy by dx out of dy by dx out of 2 into 6y cube plus xy equal to does not bear this. So take this 12y cube plus 2xy equal to minus y square minus 6x square. 
So divide the dx is equal to minus y square minus 6x square divided by 12y cube plus 2x square. That is its answer. Now write x is taken to x square. Y, no, 5 plus y square. Okay, that is its answer. Three. Yes. Pass the next problem. Next problem. <coughs> Differentiate. 2x cube y, 2x cube y plus y square plus x the whole cube equal to x raised to 4. This is also an impressive function. Then differentiate the function with respect to x that is 2 into derivative of x cube 3x square plus derivative of this term power of the function 3 into y square plus x the whole raised to 2 into d by dx of y square plus x. This is x, x cube, 3x square, and derivative of this term, d by dx of y square plus x, equal to derivative of x raised to 4, 4x cube. Okay. That is 6x square plus 3 into y square plus x, the whole square into d by dx of y square, 2y into d by dx, and d by dx of x, 1, equal to 4x cube. Okay. Then take this term on right side. That is six y into y square plus y square plus x all square into dy by dx plus three into y square plus x the whole square equal to four x cube minus six x square. Okay. That is dy by dx into six y into y square plus x the whole square equal to. 4x cube minus 6x square minus 3 into y square plus x whole square. This comes from this side. Then find other such dy by dx is equal to 4x cube minus 6x square minus 3 into y square plus x the whole square whole divided by whole divided by 6y into y square plus x whole square. Okay, that is dy by dx. Okay, <clears throat> first the next question. Find the slope of a tangent to the curve. Find the slope of a tangent to the curve. x cube plus y cube minus 9xy equal to 0 at 2 power. Find the slope of a tangent to the curve. x cube plus y cube minus 9xy equal to 0 at 2 power. Okay. <clears throat> See, given x cube plus y cube minus 9xy equal to 0. Then slope. Slope means you have to find out d by the dx. 9xy. Not about 9x cube. It is 9xy equal to 0. Differentiate the function with respect to x. Differentiate with respect to x. The derivative of x cube. 3x star. Derivative of y cube. 3y star into d by the dx. 3y star into d by the dx. Minus 9 into apply product rule. First function x into derivative of y, y, 1 into d by by dx plus second function, y into derivative of x, 1 equal to 0 derivative of x cube, 3x square derivative of y cube, 3y square into d by by dx minus 9 into, first function x into derivative of second, d by by dx plus y into x into derivative 1 equal to 0 open this bracket, 3x square plus 3y square into d by by dx minus 9x into d by the dx minus 9y equal to 0. Okay. That is d by 3 into d by the dx out of y square minus 3x equal to 9y minus 3x square. So d by the dx is equal to 3 out of y minus 3 out of 3y 3y minus x square divided by 3 into y square minus 3x. We can cancel this 3. Find answer 3y minus x square divided by y square minus 3x. Okay. But we have to find out the slope of the tangent to the curve at 2 4. That is dy by dx at 2 4. 2 4 equal to put x equal to 2, y equal to 4. 3 into 4 minus 2 square divided by 4 square minus 3 into 2. 3 into 4, 12, 2 square, 4, 12 minus 4, divided by 4 square, 16 minus 6, 12 minus 4 equal to 8, 16 minus 6, 10, 
that is 8 by 5 equal to 8 by 10 equal to 4 by 5. Therefore, the slope of the tangent to the curve at 2, 4 is equal to 4 by 5. Okay. See, if we draw this graph, we can write this way. This curve is known as a polyam. This curve is known as a polyam. Don't forget it. This curve is known as a polyam curve. Polyam curve. Then, slope of the tangent at 2, 4 equal to 4 by 5. Okay. That portion is over. Next, next, the next portion you will take on next video. Thank you.